So we're back with Spitch, but we're going to check it out now. As you can see, we've strategically placed these sensors in the house. And we've got three cameras as well. One which is 2K, which is the sitting room. And one which is in the kitchen, which you'll see later. And we've got a hall one as well. So we can have that at the door. And you can see that, what it looks like in the dark with the LEDs. Hello, Zoom Tech Buzz, and we're back with Switch Bob. We're going to have a look at the home security setup that we've been checking out. And you might notice this guy here, which we have here now for just pure testing purposes. It follows you around and pretty cool. So it's got the tracking, which is nice. So it's going to be moving around there as all you move around, and we can see it moving in all the directions again in a bit. So with the switch bot set up, you have home automation, you've got bots, curtains, blinds, hub mini, hub plus, hub two, robot vacuum cleaner S1 and S1 plus, humidifier, smart fan, meter, meter plus, motion sensor, contact sensor, security. <laughs> you've got your locks, touch pad, and you've got your pan tail cam, so this is just your standard one here, and we have a 2K one in the sitting room, and we have an indoor cam facing it onto the hall. But this one here we've kind of used for our pets dog Lola and we can keep an eye on her you can talk to her through it and it moves around and follows which you'll see right now And basically that's how that camera is going to work. It will track every object that moves and you can put in certain parameters as well. You've got lighting as well and you've got other IR appliances here and all other bits and pieces. So for example, we've got a kitchen window um, sensor. We've got a motion sensor. So if I go and open the kitchen window, you'd see that change. So, we'll do it once more. Opened. And closed. So that's how that works. The same with the kitchen sensor, which is placed in a different position in the house. Okay, so here is your app in your home setup. So you got your home, you can move these tiles around if you wish to do so. And you can check if there's bots nearby, which we've known. And in here, you can sort the voices and manage your locations. Add a device up here on top. And of course, if you have your notifications, you've got your profile, your shop, and your scenes. And we've known great because we don't need them. So back to home. Okay, so basically what you have here is we're going to show you how these work. And this guy is gone off me there. Okay, so for example, you have the sitting room camera. And in here, you get your notifications down here. You can record, you can speak, you can screenshot, you can go full screen. Turn on the sound, so that means you can talk back. It's two-way. Which you will have a sample of that later on in the clips department when we're finished. And you can go full screen. Like so, and then what you'll have here is your speed. And you can turn off the sound and on the sound there and you can go full screen like that without the bits and pieces inside it and you can turn the camera left or right and I think my dog's after running inside and you can pinch the zoom as well so you've all them little bits and pieces in there so it's going to go back out of that back into the sitting room camera there and this is what it's going to look like so that's basically it in short, it's nice and simple. So you've got your features and you've got your playback down here, your events and all your recordings. So you need an SD card in these cameras in order to get the best um, performance from them to get all the features. So you've got micro SD card, you've got your cloud and recordings and your screenshots in there, your directions, your events and your features. Now if you go into settings, these are the same on all the cameras. You've got your Wi-Fi settings, you've got your privacy mode, you've got your motion detection, so you can set your sensitivity for humans, detect sound alarm, and you can change your different alarm tones as well if you want, which you'll hear again, as I mentioned earlier on. You can preset point settings, 
So basically this is like geofence and you can move the camera into a certain position which way you want it to go and focus on that. You've got your cloud storage, local storage, you have got your basic settings, alert notifications. So in here you can get your emails or your app notifications. So what will happen is there, you get your notifications come up here, you can see switch bot here and today we've got 18. Um, that's just to give you a general idea um, of what the app entails. So if we go back out of that, that's one camera. So if we go to the hall camera, for example, that's out on the front door, as you can see. Same again, everything is the same inside. Throughout the app, it's nice and simple and kept like that. So. You can see, except that this one doesn't have track and it's fixed, so the other two isn't. As you can see, this guy is constantly moving because I'm moving, so that's basically it. Again, you've got your screenshot. You can record and save record. You can go full screen and you can record video from there. And you can change from HD to standard definition, again, on all these cameras. And that's pretty much how that's going to work there. And that's really about it in the app. It's simple to use and pretty cool. So all in all, this is an indoor kind of setup, more so than an outdoor. And it's kind of very, it's helpful. So for example, we have this guy here, very active as you can see. And it's great on the tracking. Same with the other one, the other one is a 2K. We're going to have a different clip from each from day and night after all this we talk about this to see what you get and we might do a live one as well but it's very good for say if you have pets at home or anything like that you can keep an eye on them as i mentioned earlier and handy for stuff like that and you can check if, if you do get an notification when well, you should be getting one <laughs> to keep the worry off you but it's handy to have an indoor system Again, if you have an older person at home or a grandparent or something like that, again, you can keep an eye on them if you wish to do so as well. And um, people do use these cameras for the likes of that thing as well. But overall, it's it's an, a nice um, setup to have in your house as well as external cameras um, to keep your house fully secure and have that peace of mind when you're out. Because notifications are instant as well. It's very good and it's been playing along very well for the last while I've been testing it. And hasn't kind of let me know. The only kind of thing is that can let you know if your Wi Fi goes out, the whole lot goes out, same around your camera. Um, wi Fi can be sometimes tricky depending on your house bill and so on. So there's the camera there as you've seen. So what we're going to do is actually go on to this one and this is the kitchen. This one where we've been, te where we have the dog. So you can hear the sound you're going to get. So that's the sound for me coming through that through the phone. And that's what it's going to be like. So you can see me there. So if you go in here, you can turn up and down. Hello. So that's the kind of sound feedback you're going to get from the camera, which is very good. And left and right. And that's basically how it's going to work. So what we're going to do is, is give you samples next of the cameras day and night and all the other little bits and pieces in action. So we're going to give you a live shot now of the camera in action. Just quickly watch this one. Hello there, this is Jim and a nighttime sample of the kitchen camera. Hello, this is Jim. 
So the same as the morning shots in daytime of the whole time. Indoor time from the switch box. So that's pretty much it wrapped up. So here's just a quick daytime sample of the camera in the kitchen and you can see our dog sitting over there staring at the camera. Isn't that right, Lola? Come here. <laughs> and here she comes. So that's really about it and what to expect everybody from the Switchbox camera system, which is pretty cool and that's all there is for now and if you think we missed that do let us know and we'll see you in the next video.